Hello everyone, Linda Israel here and I want to show you the newest kit feature that I have in my shop. This is Punked Out Steam 2, the planner kit. You can get this planner as a digital download and or it is also available as a physical printed kit. The printed kit will have 100 pound cardstock for the cover and elements and it'll have like a 24 pound I believe paper for the pages and they'll be laser printed. Mine has been printed with my Hewlett Packard inkjet printer. This is the cover. You'll notice that there is a stencil design in the background. That is one of mine and it is available as a part of the July Yes, July Stenc Artistic Stencil Club. If you want that actual stencil, you can get it through the July Artistic Stencil Club. You can ask for that whenever you check out, say, hey, I want the July Stencil Club, even though it's a different month. This is what the inside looks like. I love the colors that Norella put together from Calico Collage. Then on the inside, you get, uh, I think it's six pages that are two-sided or a total of 12 pages that are set up for a planner. So this is a one month spread and then you have these beautiful images on the side and then on the back you have lined paper to journal upon. Here is another one of the pages and of course it is got the backing as well. There are two different journal line pages so you've seen one and then here is the other coming right up down the side has little gears. Here's another page. Of course, same on the back. And then here is the first page of elements that you get. You get these smaller journal cards, a corner pocket, some tabs, and some fussy cut elements. And then you get some more journal cards and little flags. Well, I'm going to fussy cut this up and come back and we'll put together this journal. I fussy cut all of the elements with the planner kit. By the way, I forgot to mention that the planner kit you can get as a printed for $9.99 or a digital format for $6.99 or both if you so choose. So I've picked out a few little things here. My base or foundation for this journal page is a, looks like a page out of a Bible that maybe wouldn't be good for anything else, but it'll be perfect as a base. And then I've got a gel print, a couple of the fussy cut elements. So let's get started. Right off the bat, I have this little scrap of a mop-up page from using a stencil. And I think what I want to do is use Win Noon and stamp that across here. So I'm going to get my archival ink jet black and ink that up on Win Noon. <laughs> I have to remember the name of the stamp. And I think I'm going to stamp it right across the bottom. So it just kind of gives it a little pattern across there. I'm going to set this aside for a moment. And then on this piece, I decided that I want to do some stamping. So I've got, I think it's the ministry stamp. There's a set of four. And I'll put that, well, let's put it right here in the corner. It'll kind of go off the edge. And then have from the stitches set. So I have shabby stitches and then I have stitches set, which are embroidery type stitches. I think they're really cool. So I'm going to stamp that right on the edge. And I think we'll even go down this side and across the bottom. I like to go ahead and just do the whole thing. I went and cut a piece of cardstock that's a little bit slightly larger than one of the images in the kit. And I want to decorate that outside edge. So I'm going to use the gear stamp and stamp it. And by putting a little bit of a pattern in the background, it changes the way that looks. Isn't that cool? All right, I think I'm at the point now that I need to start gluing things down so I know where everything goes. I know I want this piece up here. And I have that little strip that I stamped and I'm putting it down here on the bottom, but I want to put it underneath this piece. So I'm going to use this piece as a guide and glue down with a Lean's Tacky Glue this little piece. And then I'll glue this piece in the corner. I think I'm going to apply some Distress Inks to those edges though real fast. I know I want this piece in this corner, so I'll just go ahead and glue that down. I have the tick, tick, tick stamp, and I want to stamp it kind of in the middle here. So I'm going to ink it up and then stamp it. Kind of gives a little background there. 
I've got this little scrap and this little 187 label and I think I'll stamp it we'll stamp it closer to the edge here and I'll fussy cut this out let's apply some distress inks to this and I want to put it in this corner but I think it needs one more layer behind there so let's ink up the gears stamp again and we'll stamp that across this corner and then we can put that on top starting to come together I like it I'm gonna go ahead and glue that down and this is going to be a corner pocket that I'm going to put over here but I think I need to make one more change sometimes a pocket needs to have the full width but if you put glue right here then you won't have that full size so what I'm going to do is cut a couple of one inch strips and I'll be right back I found a couple of strips already cut in my stash and I think what I want to do is just take this and glue it right on this edge so I'm just going to put a little bit of glue here and basically I'm making a tab and I'm going to glue the other way I'll cut off this excess by coming in at an angle here across the diagonal and then an angle up here and this piece is actually bigger than I need so I'm just going to cut off where the holes are now what I'm going to do is fold this back upon itself and you see now we have these little tabs that when we glue this down that'll give us the full width of the pocket so I'm going to take this piece and glue it down right here we'll take this piece and layer them together and then I'm going to make this a pocket over here in the corner our corner tuck spot so I'm just going to glue down the long end and across the bottom I stamped the word journal it's from the journal quartet set onto a piece of craft cardstock and we'll put that right here in the corner I want to make a journal card to go inside this journal pocket so I've got a 5 by 7 piece of cardstock and I have one of the fussy cut elements out of the kit and then I also have a scrap of paper and I think I like the way the gears looked just peeking out around the edges so I'm going to grab my scrap of paper here and we're going to stamp just around that outside edge I just filled in so that there was some kind of design all the way around see there so now I'll go ahead and glue this down so I'm going to make this a pocket with a pocket so if we want we can add more stuff to it later this is going to go on here but this portion is a little blank and bare so let's see I've got this ornate little embellishment and I'm going to stamp that up here in the middle oh I like that doesn't that look really pretty I've already applied distress inks to the outside edge so I'll just go ahead and glue this down as a pocket on top of this journal card I like that and then I have a couple little journal cards one can go back here and one can go in here so we have two on there I'll go ahead and fold my page just so I know where the halfway mark is and we'll decorate the other side in just a moment so this journal card can fit right down inside here I had glue that seeped up so my pocket glued shut so I'm just fixing it so now that'll go way down into that pocket and we have this nice decorative page here then I've got another little journal card that we'll put over there so let's flip this over and work on the other side this time I have a couple of pages from a junior legal notepad and let's use some Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist on them. It's a 5 by 7 junior legal notepad and I'm just placing it inside my spray box and I have the gears stencil from the July stencil club it's an artistic stencil club there's a set of four different designs between three stencils. I'm going to use the punked out steam color that comes in the subscription box and I'm going to spray on top of this stencil then I'm going to grab a sheet of paper and mop up any excess spray and I like to spray the back side of my paper that way if I want to use it as a journal page it's already got something on it to start with so there is that pattern I'll set that aside for now don't need the stencil and then here is my journal page writing space with the little gears patterns I like to go ahead and just fold my page in half so that I know where the center top and bottom is so I'm looking at this okay if I put this somewhat in the center from 
top to bottom and left to right, it's centered. So I'm going to glue this down. I'm going to repeat on the other side. I'm opening it back up and I'm going to use, yeah, let's use the gear stamp just because I like it. And we're going to stamp that across this corner and then we'll repeat it on the other side. So we ended up adding that. And then I took some strips of a gel print and made one inch strips. I'm going to glue those across the top and the bottom here. It kind of covers up that bottom area and just adds a little bit of color to the page. I have a couple of the fussy cut elements from the kit that I thought would look really cute up in those corners. So I'm going to glue those down. So there is one journal page that I've made for this planner junk journal. Here's the other side. I'll get some more supplies put together to make another page and give you one more tutorial and then we'll put together the pages that I have made. Thanks. All right, we got another page that I want to work with. So this is a mop-up page or a spray page that I use the Punked Out Steam 2 Tattered Angels Glimmer Mist on and a stencil. I'll have the just stencils in the description box down below as well as other products that I use and I decided that after I sprayed this I would use this as a page or a foundation page for our planner. I've got a scrap of paper here that I'm just putting down to help protect my work surface and I've got the stencil from the Punked Out Steam subscription box and I want to make a pattern in this upper corner so I'm just offsetting it just a little bit and I've got Dusty Concord Distress Oxide and I've got a oval blending brush. So I'm going to take this and ink up my brush just a little bit and we're going to go right across this corner. So I'm just blending that in just a little bit and then we're going to have a little bit of a gear pattern in that corner. I'm going to do the same thing in this corner over here as well. So that gives me the patterns in the corner there. So I've got a couple of little elements that I want to put on top. For example, I've got a little scrap of paper that I found that I thought look, would look kind of neat if I put it across the corner and made that a little collage. I'm going to use some Distress Oxide in Walnut Stain and go around the edges of this little piece of paper and that way it'll kind of help outline it and give it a nice uh, depth of color around that edge. So if we're going to put these over here, I kind of like that. I like the way that looks. I think it needs a little bit something else behind there. I'm going to grab the Gears stamp and we're going to ink that up in Jack Black. And we're going to go right across this corner. It just adds just a little bit more texture to my page. I like that. And I think I'm going to repeat it over here on this side. While I've got my little scrap of paper out, I'm going to put a pocket on the page. And I've got a page that is from a book that I've applied paint to. During my YouTube lives on Thursdays, I do mixed media. So many times I will either gel print, just a plain thing, or I will take my brayer and clean it off onto a scrap of paper. And I don't know if that's what this was, but I had it on my desk and I thought I would use it. And I've got the keys, and I can't remember if this was called Key Play. I think that might be. It's a whole bunch of different keys on here. And I thought we would stamp it across this little piece. So I'm just going to look at this and go, well, let's start kind of at the top here and stamp it. And then to get a different look, I'm going to move up and stamp right beside it. So you'll get different key looks. So that kind of gives a little texture all the way around. And I think what I want to do is just go ahead and glue that down onto this piece. Isn't that a nice texture? I'm just going to use a Lean's Tacky Glue and glue this together. And I'm going to put this right on top. It's one of the images from the planner kit. And I think I'll make it a little pocket in case you have a little something that you want to put in it. I'll go ahead and glue this little collage piece in the corner here. I've got a little page tab that comes with the planner kit. And I thought it would look kind of cute right here on the edge. Looks good. I'll go ahead and fold my page in half just so I know where my center mark is when I go to put my pocket down. So let's put this guy right here and so that'll give us a nice little tuck spot pocket. I'm kind of centering it from the fold in the edge. On this side I have a couple little pieces. This is just a ticket shape that I have that I thought would look kind of good in the corner. So I'm going to go ahead and glue this. Actually I'm going to change my mind. 
let's glue this differently. I'm going to glue this across here. So it's another scrap of a gel print that I had. And then I've got one of the elements from the kit. And I think I'll put it maybe kind of like that, where it's down just a little bit. So I'm only going to glue right across this upper area. And then I'll put the word journal right over the top of that. I want this to be a little tuck spot at the top of my page. So I'm going to glue across this edge and this edge. And then that way I can tuck up underneath there. So I kind of went down this edge and across. Prior to the stream, I took one of the gears from the Punked Out Steam kit and I dipped it into embossing powder and embossed it. And then I had a little paper punch that I punched out of shape. And I'm going to hear these together because I want to put it in this upper corner. And that kind of covers up the fact that my paper doesn't always, doesn't go all the way to the edge. So I'll just put a few dots on the gear piece, glue that to the paper punched piece. And then I'll put glue on the back side of this piece and glue the whole thing down onto the corner of my page. I've got some journal cards that'll go underneath the tuck spots, but I want to wait till the glue is dry. So let's flip this over and work on the other side. So on this side, I've got a rubber stamp that is called Stitches. And basically it is reminiscent of old style embroidery stitches. And I thought it would look really good if we stamped it right across the top of the page. It's kind of cute. And then I have this key fringe that I thought I would stamp at the bottom of the page. Next, I have this stamp that's from uh, Time Flies, I believe. I'm just putting it at an angle on my block. And let's put it, let's put it somewhat in the center here. And I'll go ahead and stamp the word time. Yeah. And then on this side, I've got the word photo. So I'm going to put the word photo down first. And then I've got a camera. All of these stamps are from Beeline Designs, and I offer them in my shop. Let's put the camera right beside it. Oh, I like that. And it doesn't have to be overly complicated. It is a planner page, so I really want room to write things. But here's our little tab. And then here's what it looks like on the inside and the back. So let's go ahead and put a journal card from the kit right inside here. And then I've got another journal card from the kit. And I think I want a tall, skinny card. So I've got this blank card. Yeah, I think that would look good right in there. So let's decorate this up a little bit. I've got the Dusty Concord ink pad again and my blending tool. And I'm just going to go around the edge. It's just a white piece of cardstock. It was random leftover in my stash. If you don't have the exact color of paper that you want, you can change Paper. That's why I like to have white and ivory papers in my stash. It's easy to change that. Okay, so I've got that. Oh, I see. I have this stamp that says memorandum. So I'm going to stamp it across the top. So let's just put it right up here at the edge. Yeah. And then I've got this bicycle stamp that I thought was really kind of cute. It's a girl's bike. There's a card of the bike duo. And I'm going to stamp it Right so much in the center at the bottom. Bicycle at the top, memorandum at the memorandum at the top, bicycle at the bottom. And then I've got, you know, I always forget what this one is called, but it's a little collage with a building. It's got a butterfly. And I'm going to stamp that right in the middle. I'm going to rotate my page just because it's easier for me to do it this way. So let's put it butterfly right about here. Oh yeah, that's looking good. So we've got a little patterning. And then I've got the small print letter and it's going this way, but I'm going to rotate it and just tack it to my ink pad and then just kiss it every once in a while to my paper. And I'm okay if it's not a good print. I just want to kind of fill in that area that doesn't have any stamping on it. I like that. Let's put some distress inks around the edges. I like that. And then this can go right in here. All right, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to work on a few more pages for this planner, then get them all ready, and then we'll bind it together. So I'll be right back in just a moment. Here are the pages that I made. So we made this one during the tutorial today. So you saw that one. 
This is the next one using another mop-up page. I just used the ornate stamp. And on this side, I had used my new Curves and Diamonds stencil and did Distress Oxide in Dusty Concord above and Mermaid Lagoon on the bottom. This is from the Keep Calm Carry On. I think it's called Carry On. It's a whole bunch of little stamps together. And this is the Key Play down the side. Over here, laughter is timeless, imagination has no age, dreams are forever. And I stamped the gears on that little ticket piece. I used the stitches stamp on this little scrap of a uh, gel print. And then here is another one of the stencils. This is the stencil that comes with the punked out steam to subscription box and I used a lot of rubber stamps on this one so we have the little twining flower here we have when noon across the top I only used a portion of it so it barely comes out there and then I used the other portion on the bottom here I used the large pen nib, one of the butterflies from the Butterfly Beauties Cube, the journal stamp, the pencil stamp. This is from the Curls and Swirls set of four. Um, here's using the shabby or the stitches stamp, and then a couple of the elements from the kit, including the tab. And on this side, I stamped the word tomorrow. That's another little word set that has today, tomorrow, yesterday. And I can't remember what the other word is because it didn't seem to fit to me. Anyhow, this is from the subscription box or the uh, planner kit. And then this is the ornate stamp in the background. And I think this is from either Ministries or um, Carry On. One of those sets that has this really cool protractor type measurement. And I use the postscript collage in the background and I use the polka dots stencil there and I don't think I mentioned all the, yeah I got that one yeah I was trying to make sure I got all the stencils here is another stencil that comes with the Punked Out Steam subscription box. Here I used a scrap of a gel print, stamped that same flower. This is a little clock, that same protractor image, curly swirlies, stitches, stamps, photo, the camera, and I can't remember the name of this one, but it has um, a little postmark with it, and I think like a half mark. It's, it's a really neat little set. Grandfather clock. And then over here, I stenciled a new stencil that I put up that's a uh, gear, so look for gears. I'll have it in the description box below. This is from the uh, Clocked Out. There's four different faces, and then this is Time from Time Flies. And then here's the hot air balloon over here, and I stamped the word today. And these are little flags that come with the planner kit. So I just tried to use a little bit of everything. Here I used the new flourish stamp around the edge, did the keep calm. I repeated a journal card. I made a little pocket. I glued down a gel print in the background that I stamped on top of. And then I was able to slide these in here, and it just gives it a nice little look scrap there used one of the stamps in the background and from the kit fussy cut elements and then of course here's the first page that we made so i've pretty much got this in the order in which i want to put it together and i've got the pages here so i've got a cover and then if i pick up a page then i want this page and i'm going to do every other page one that I made and one that is printed from the planner kit. And in the middle we'll have this page that had all the pockets. So what I like to do is make sure that I've got all my pages lined up with my cover and I'm using a cardstock cover for this because I like to put my journals inside a Midori cover so I don't really make hard covers uh, bound on my journal pages anymore. I kind of like having that flexibility of being able to take it out of a hard cover. So I'm going to grab a paper clip and we're going to do a pamphlet stitch and stitch this together. I've got a little template that I've made. It's just punching three holes. I like to line it up in the spine and I find that you need to make sure your pages 
are V'd so that when you poke your awl through, the hole will be straight through that center part of your spine. I'm using the Tim Holtz craft pick. So I'm just going to punch three holes and go all the way through to the outside. I'm just moving it over. I have a piece of fun foam underneath. All right. And I'll put away my little template. I've got a book binders needle. I sell these two for $5. They have the longer uh, hole, so it's elongated, but it doesn't flare out. And I like this size because it's the same size as the hole from the, the Tim Holtz Tonic Studio Craft Pick. We're going to get three times the height of our journal in wax linen thread. You can use any kind of thread if you like crochet thread you can do it this is just the strongest in my opinion all right so i'm going to come through the center hole i'm going to pull this around but i want to make sure that my tail doesn't come towards the front and then we'll come around back through to the center i like to make sure that i pull this piece up out of the way so that this hole is clear of that thread because you don't want to split it because then it's hard to get your journal tight and then we're going to go from the outside back to the inside and then we'll put right under here well i hope you enjoyed uh, being here today watching my video on using the planner kit from punked out steam 2. i go live on mondays at 3 45 p.m central standard time i do hope that you'll come hang out with us because that's when i make journals so i'll make journals live much like this one here that i've done in the recording and then on Thursdays, I go live again, and I show how to do mixed media, like making some gel prints and doing some mixed media pages and whatnot. Well, let me flip through this really fast, just so you can see what it looks like put together. So here is the cover. I love this design. The pattern is one that I drew and gave it to Norella and she used that as the background and I just love how this has come together color wise and everything so we open it up and this is one of the journal pages from the planner kit here's your one month spread here's a page I stamped and you can see all the pieces I love how that's framed out you're doing something different on each page is good so that you get that variety you get that eclectic feel but at the same time, I didn't have to spend um, a lot of time on it and try to dig through and find things. I just happened to grab some things that were on my desk. Good to have scraps laying around every once in a while. I love the way the center turned out. Remember this pocket that we made at the beginning? Although it's taken me three days to make this video. <laughs> I've had some interruptions. Anyway, I hope you liked this video. If you did, please give this a thumbs up. Share it with your friends. Comment below what was your favorite part that you saw in this video today. What did, what did you like the most? And uh, let me know what you thought of this journal. Thanks so much for watching, everybody. I hope to see you at the next live stream or when you see one of my recorded videos. Have a fabulous day. Take care. Bye. Mm -hmm.